Good evening, everyone. I'm making this video just to thank all of you for supporting the, the Kickathon, which we hosted today. Uh, we were raising money for the Tomorrow Fund, which is a, a local organization here in Rhode Island. And they provide support to uh, families with children suffering from cancer. They just make sure that they have the cash they need to keep the lights on and pay for the medical treatments and you know just all the things that go into taking care of someone who's, who's suffering and uh, i wanted to emphasize that whether you supported you know with your heart and mind or whether you were able to, to put a couple of dollars on the gofundme thank you truly just having the the courage and the wisdom to, to think about the suffering of other people it's going to make a difference in the world around you so congratulations for that. And what I wanted to do is share some of the insights from the day with you guys because it was a pretty uh, it was a pretty awesome event. One of the things I found interesting about it was it's marketed not as you know we're um, we're going to do a thousand kicks, but we're going to do a thousand perfect kicks. I'm like, why are we going to do a thousand perfect kicks? What what does it what does that matter? As a matter of fact, why do we have you know, a fundraiser kickathon or a fundraiser marathon or that type of thing. We can just give the cash. I think that it really demonstrates the importance of intention and symbolism in human psychology and the way that we think and the way that we behave. Because we were there for the purpose of uplifting the human condition. And the only way that it's appropriate to go about doing that is perfectly or as perfectly as we can muster. And so as Master Park said when he addressed us, these kicks are being thrown not, you know, in vain, but for the people who are suffering, right? It's for them. It's also for the people who are not able to come out and, and kick and, and, you know, enjoy these aspects of life. And there's there's a rather pervasive thought which which I think holds no stop whatsoever that when you have something you should feel guilty right you feel guilty how how dare I be healthy how dare I be rich while others are not and that you know that that doesn't make any sense to me because we were there and the, the first step in being able to help someone is acknowledging that you have the means to help so being there and being healthy and, and fit and strong you know, in, in, in the moment, um, it really impressed upon me the, the, the importance of being grateful, actively grateful, right? So we can run and we can speak and we can serve. There are others who can't. There are others who need that service. So that was one of the insights I had today, was, which was um, it's very important to do everything that we do beautifully and not to be ashamed of doing our best, uh, as odd as that sounds. Um, there's one moment in specific, and, and I hope you'll forgive the, the rambling, and this is not scripted. But there's one moment in specific I was training with, with my partner, and his son, um, he has several children. His son is afflicted with cerebral palsy. This wonderful young man who always has a smile on his face. And his mother brought him in and, and set him up in, in, a, in a sort of a corner where you could see um, his father and I training. And um, I remember looking over at him and just, you know, tears came to my eyes. I was choked up. I couldn't, I couldn't speak. Um, and it's coming back, right? But the thing is that he was smiling. The whole time. And that, and, and that was so beautiful. It, it just reminded me of the fact that so much of um, the, the suffering of sick people is a suffering that we impute upon them. But there are individuals who don't have, you know, what the average individual has. And they're so happy and grateful. And I felt so ashamed of myself. Like, how can I complain, you know, in general about things when this person's just smiling all the time? What beautiful perspective he must have. And the other thing it reminded me of is that 
there is such a thing as righteous hatred. You know, we don't have the faculty to hate for nothing. I really hate human suffering. It really pisses me off. And so when I stood there and I was doing remember, the last 500 kicks or so, I was just losing my mind on this target as if every kick was a blow against cancer. And it reminded me why I do what I do. And it reminded me why I do it with the zeal that I do it with. Uh, it's because every single day there are people suffering. Um, and. and there are people who, who have had health and it goes away. There are people dealing with the fear of knowing that what they have is being taken away by some progressive condition. There are people who have conditions where they know there's, there's no cure, there's no restoration. And what really struck me more than all of that is that we have the ability to do something about that. You can go online right now and read about clinical trials that are showing promise in cerebral palsy and autism, and cancer. And to me, that, that's why I'm in this field. Um, you know, I envision a world in which nobody does have to imagine losing all of their faculties, where we can stop that disease, where someone doesn't have to imagine living out the rest of their life with this incapacity. We can get that back. And the only way to work at that is with the utmost energy and zeal and vigor. As close to human perfection as we can get, right? 100% effort. Um, you know, and as I was going through my kicks and like trying not to cry actively, um, that's what struck me. Just a hatred for suffering, a love for humanity and just a desire to exhaust myself working for it. Um, and I managed to effectively exhaust myself from the hips down <laughs> at the kick of on. So um, and hopefully um, we'll all be able to continue exhausting ourselves in the, in the near term and throughout our lives towards bringing about the change that we hope to see in the world. Um, I have no idea if, if I even made the point that I wanted to make uh, with this video, but uh, but I just wanted to share that really moving moment that you know that reminded me of of uh, of what it means to actually be grateful. The hard work and determination and discipline that it takes to actually behave in a grateful manner. So. Thank you all again for all that you are and all that you do, and for supporting. Uh, for sponsoring me to go to this kickathon and um, for just being as supportive and wonderful as you all are all the time. I hope you have a wonderful evening and talk to you soon.